watched the little preview and then like the little beginning snippet and then I was like, oh hell no, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta stream this game. This shit seems dark. So, I'm just gonna play this game that's been out for fucking forever. Cause I'm late to everything. Yay! Alright, so back to the game then. Was plucked from the sacred tree. Mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. Damn. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. This fucking shit. I'm playing vampire. Uh... Oh fuck, bitch! He just popped out of nowhere! Alright! What are we doing, ho? Oh. Are we a vampire? I'm only gonna assume. Hey! That's a little grody. Yeah, I would freak out too, bro. It's cool. What's wrong with you, though? Loving the haircut. Chan, do you want to join stream? Might be kind of boring for you, though. Oh! I guess we follow the red shit. You know, that's what I'm going to assume. Can we move faster? Cause this, this is... Oh, I, okay, I understand now. We're gonna eat the lady. That sounded wrong. So thirsty. Yeah, we're gonna say hello. We're gonna gently tickle her neck with our teeth. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, I know this person. Don't do anything. No, she l apparently loves us. Don't do what you're gonna do. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna fucking sink your teeth into her neck and kill her. Yep. He did it. Uh, you're not, that's not a very good grip there, bro. That's, you're like, smiling into her, her neck. And then you you just killed her by smiling into her. I just. Oh, was your bro, your si your sister. Mary. We killed her sister, Jonathan. Mary. Hold on, please hold on. Jonathan! Mary. Mary. No. No. I mean... Oh, Jonathan. Can we talk about the texture of the street for a second? Pants look great, but the texture of the street it's looks fucking horrid. It's a nightmare. It is a fucking nightmare. You just killed your sister, dude. No! Please, a moment, let me explain! Okay, now we're running for our lives. Oh, Jonathan. Move your little badass. Let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, These shuffle, shuffle. After me. No, no, don't shoot. I don't know this where I'm nightmare. going. I need to get out of here. 
I agree. Can we jump? Is there jump? Oh, biscuits. This can't be happening. How do I? Is there a jump button? Oh. Please stop! I mean you no harm. Ho, run, run, ho! I'm literally gonna call Jonathan a ho the whole game. I already know it. Can you swim? Oh, Mary. That would be my suggestion. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where it goes? I don't know how to hide or can I jump? I want to jump. That's what I want. I, you, but. Before an immunity attack, press. Oh, it consumes stamina. All right. Well. Now, I can defend myself. Yeah. Great. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, is that a ladder? It is not a ladder. I think I fucked myself over. All right. I'm just gonna button mash for a sec. Oh, what is this? Okay, I'm here. Oh, river. I'm gonna say it wrong, but I know what it is. River. People call it the Tams, right? It's not Thams, it's Tams. Fuck if I know. I pronounce most things wrong. Yeah, I did. Look, beesh. but I put myself in a garstern hole that I can't get out of, so it's not very helpful. Okay. Is that? Okay, that's dot. Douche. Circle is douche. Triangle is nothing. That is meak. X is nothing. Up, down, left, right, turn around. Woo! No, alright. Okay, I said it right. Fuck you, yeah, bitch. Alright, then I guess I just casually. <gasps> oh! I'm mad that I didn't know that. Okay. Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left uh, me no choice. Are you really sorry, though, Jonathan? I mean, I'm not. They're shooting at me. It's a video game. I don't particularly care, but... Because, you know, <laughs> I'm a badass. Who are you, <laughs> stupid beast? Why are you so mean to me? Sorry. When, am, when did I go Russian? Oh no! Stop. Technically, I'm in London, so shouldn't I be trying to do a London accent? Yeah, I chopped him with a thingy. He's very much dead. Why can't I grab a gun? All I want is a gun. Oh. Am I yelling? I went Russian. Mm. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Oh, I'm gonna fuck I can't you make up. Any sense of this? Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! What in God's name? Do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, just, just leave me. Ah, 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 ah. We must find shelter! Run, 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 run. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. Probably because it is. Uh, I right. need to find somewhere to hide. Agreed. Let me go! Uh, <gasps> finally, I can sprint! Woo! I need to find shelter. I'm running! Is anybody there? Grr. It seems to be a house, but you know, 
I've been wrong before. Place seems abandoned. <laughs> I that, be safe enough. That's a very astute assumption. Some, I swear I'm articulate. Anyways, I should investigate because. Oh. I'm not gonna read that. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. Oh, Grody. <laughs> you can feel the wood pre <laughs> pressing again. <laughs> you killed your sister, you ho! Why am I clapping? It's like middle school all over again. Girls getting mad. Mary! Yeah, we know. You murdered your sister, Mary. you dumb dumb. Mary. I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. You! You did this to us! Yeah, fledgling! Alright, is this our house then? Because. Oh. That's not good. Oh lord, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's... She doesn't have teeth. That's what it is. Someone put a sheet over her! She's creeping me out! Thank you very much. Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. Now, give me an eve. That was lame. That's impossible. I don't know if you heard me burp, but I burped. How you doing? Can I sell my watch? Cause frankly, we need to upgrade our digs. I would like some curtains that block out the sun. So I ain't about to be a crispy fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? Then I can't see myself in the mirror because that's stereotypical. Uh... Oh, I guess I can. You never heard me? Ah, oh, fuck, it was a discreet burp and I outed myself. Who goes there? Hmm. Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish. This guy has a lot of turmoil in his life. I still um, have so much left that needs doing. I'm not gonna stop you from doing it. Ooh, shillings! They don't call them that anymore, do they? Why is everyone dead in our house? <laughs> oh, he killed him. That's sad. But I'm just gonna fucking take that syringe. No problem. Oh. Fuck, is that like a magnet? What is this? Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now, no. there's time. I can save him. Our doctor. That's the enemy coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. That's like... Fuck, you're a doctor. You're supposed to... You know, well, I guess it's like 18. No. You know, give a no, fuck. Got it. Okay, so we're a doctor. Um. 
<laughs> oh, fucking, I'm blind, bitch. You want me to read that? Oh, ow. Bloody diary. 15th of October. <laughs> That's my mom's birthday. That's funny as shit. 15th of October. Bad sleep. Be <laughs> Becky coughed all night. And the fever made her delirious. Bitch, that's me most nights. What's good? Uh, I heard a lot of noise. I can't read this. I'm blind! Okay. <clears throat> I heard a lot of noise in the morning. Blah, 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 blah. Big machine. Something. Men. <sighs> hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Are they talking about a jackhammer? I don't know. Anyways. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. It's 16th of October. I talked to the men. Blah, 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 blah. Are you right up on <laughs> the TV train? I am. I got up from... I was at the head of the bed. I crawled all the way to the fucking TV because I can't see. I need new glasses. I'm like crouched in front of the fucking TV <laughs> reading this goddamn it's such small print okay Chan uh safety measures apparently I'm new uh, epidemic flu coming back they had no work for me Becky slept a little last night the foundry has been closed and there's no one more more draw <laughs> I went to London to find some groceries and drugs no trains it took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. <sighs> we have no money left. Maybe I could go to Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. Hey, I was born in Pembroke Pines. Not the same place, but you know. That was fun. Yeah, no. You know how blind I am, Chan. <laughs> I am up against the TV reading this damn thing right now. Uh, but it's, it's so far and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th of October, Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barbecue, wait, oh, I'll barricade the house to protect us from the, that's an L, looters. Fucking L. I thought that was a T. Oh my god, there's more! Okay. You heard that burp, didn't ya? 21st of October, the men with the mechanical machines have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night as if they were attacked. Ah! Oh. Sorry. Un momento. Uh. Where was I? Shouts, uh, as if they are attacked. Uh, now there's only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago, but Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why is she torturing me so? I have my glasses on, Chan. I never not wear my glasses. So I am always wearing my glasses. It's just, these are old prescriptions and that's tiny as fuck print, alright? Uh, I feel like I should be reading this in an accent. 22nd of October. I can't. I cannot! Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me? from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun. I hid in the s damn ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it. Protect myself from my own wife. Scottish? Oh, fuck. All right. I all of a sudden want to do Irish because it's 23. <laughs> 20 <laughs> Fuck, how do I say it? 20 the 23rd of October. I couldn't sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help, begging me to let her in. 
but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. I would, I would not be long. It would not be long. I pray to God it will end soon. The 24th, the 24th of October. I was so hungry. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was so hungry. <laughs> I can't keep an accent. I was so hungry. <laughs> I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog. I don't even know what the accent that was. Looking at me without moving. Just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her. At her, let's say sore face. Holy. At her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. The 25th of October, the house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I will be with you soon enough. Fuck, that's like dark. All right, so now I'm gonna sit right in front of the t TV because they're gonna be pulling the small print shit. I need to move all my stuff. Let me arrange myself. It's like now I'm away from all the fans, so it's about to get like 20 times hotter. Woo! All right. Back, bitch. Oh, there's a feather. I'll take the feather. This makes no sense. Oh, Not my dad sense. just called me. No sense at all. Um, my dad just called me fucking Brian. Oh my god! And <laughs> he does and goes, sorry, tired, Brina. I'm like, beat. He called me Brian though. He did that one time on my birthday on Facebook. He was in the back of a pickup truck when he messaged me this. He goes, I love you. Happy birthday, Brian. I was like, my dad just called me Brian. If you're gonna try and shoot yourself, bro, it's not gonna work. Rational thinking only. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in summer. Into a glowing flesh.
voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! My head's spinning. Locked, all right. I'm still in Southwark. I must there. reach the West End.
Go back home. The strength. The strength I never knew I had. of my body. sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. It's locked. Jump. I can now control. Bullet. I cannot enter. It's locked.
can't believe I'm doing this. What will London have to say to me? The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Hey, 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 what is going on, guys? I was talking with my dad. Fresh. Uh, fresh blood. Something, <laughs> dire, <laughs> <must've come about. laughs> Something dire. Uh, probably seeing as that it's death. Destruction! Where has everyone gone? Ooh, you know what? I'm kind of digging this mode, though. What the fuck? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that I... must be the killer's trail. I could not agree more. Mm. I am back. Yes, hi, Chan. My dad might be joining the stream and watching, so that's fucking awesome. So, so everyone say hi to Mr. Martinez. <laughs> it's like elementary school all over again. Hi, Mr. Martinez. Uh, you found a new hideout. Here you can spend your XP while resting or crafting items at a workbench. Oh, that's cool. We're just going to chill where the killer uh, led us. That's uh, how I want to spend all my time. Refill. Oh, I don't have anything to refill. I'll say hi. I mean, yeah, you can say that too. I don't think it matters. Uh, crafting. On a workbench, you can craft medical treatments, serums, weapon upgrades. Yeah, okay, got it. I ain't got shit. Uh. Oh, shit. I got heartburn. Ooh! So, I got 500! <laughs> Body condition, health increase, endurance, blood capacity, big thirst. Increase your blood absorption while using bite in combat. I mean, that would be helpful, but... Um, no, 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 no. 
100% damage. Hard biting! Increase the damage inflicted when using the bite com in combat. We'll go ahead and do that. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be doing that a lot. Listen, Chan, it is a fucking trillion degrees in here, Beesh. There's nothing I can do. It is hot as fuck. Alright, I got three fans hitting me. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm not even really, I'm not even being hit by my fan. I'm schmitzing while playing a game. That's how warm it is in here. I want that. Oh, I can't even get it. Damn. All right. Well, at the beginning, it said the more people I, the more civilians I kill, the faster I'll um, level up. But I feel kind of bad if I just was walking around fucking killing people all the time. You know. I will not lie, there's- I keep seeing the shadow at my window. It's just the bush up front, but it's scaring the crap out of me because this game's a little dark and mysterious, so I'm waiting for someone to like sneak up, sneak up and go, boo! Okay, who doesn't love that? Woo! Follow the f oh no. Unknown. At last, a little life. Hello, gentlemen. My God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank <gasps> you. Hi, Dad. I'm not, not thirsty. <laughs> well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Oh, biscuits! This is going to be another long night. A long night. Why is it going to be a long night? But this seems important. Hmm. I guess I'll go with the exclamation point. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Why I sound so posh. Been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. So, Dad, the other person in chat is Chan. <laughs> Chan, this is my dad. Mr. Martinez. Well, he can tell you what he wants to be called. I'm, I just said it because I thought it was funny. But... Dad Chan, Chan Dad. Chan's my friend from Scotland. She's a wee fucking funny. But she's pretty cool. Uh, we play video games together all the time. <laughs> we play video games together all the time. Uh, she actually helped me improve my Scottish accent. Okay, I need to meet I this need man. to meet this man. I have questions. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business. You hear me? You hear me? This is a it's respectable, a respectable establishment. establishment. You liar. What? That you're Scottish? <gasps> Chan's not Scottish. <laughs> She lied. No place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. Oh no. Vampires. They're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require them. Someone is someone is eavesdropping. Oh! <laughs> She's a vampire. Welcome in, whoever you are. Well, okay then, chap. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? You called me a fanny, I mean, and I'm. Can't say it's a vampire. You are a fucking fanny. Present yourself. I. I need a word. Anyone? I don't know what's happening. May the power of the fucking glowing cross compel you, bitch. That's oh. one way to say hello. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. It would be hard not to be Scottish with my accent. <laughs> she walks up to you, she goes, I can't do it, Sabe! And you're like, 
Your what hurts? <laughs> Dad, I don't think you'd be able to understand Chan, in all fairness. <laughs> if she wasn't typing, <laughs> you'd be like, what the fuck's this bitch saying? <laughs> and who might you be? I am the guy in the white bloody shirt. That is who I am. I don't well, know. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? Uh -huh. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale Pillows as a corpse, corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. He's got a point. Someone is molesting people. That in sounds fact, killing them. wrong. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire like you. Of a world? That's true. I mean, I, I understood you, but we can contribute that to my kind of obsession of watching BBC. Uh, you seem like an expert. I'm a victim too. This is not real. Eh, I'm a victim too. I've been too. hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I, I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. I have the undescribable urge to want to do an accent throughout this whole game, and I'm trying to refrain. Help me then! Oh, that's desperate! What is the Brotherhood? Who are... Who are you talking to? What do you know? Well, the bitch he was talking to was a vampire, because I heard her go, out of here. So I want to know who she is. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking, talking about. about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Chan, I'm trying. <laughs> I can barely keep my own accent. I don't really have an accent. Uh, he, he's gonna just be keep him being insistent, though. What do you know? What is this brotherhood? Do what you have know? you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors it's of the violent, violent murders. murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. Chan, is this what Her Londoners different. sound like? I thought they were more the of a Cockney accent. Famished. This bitch sounds posh. This we'll also is like 1800s, around. but oh no, this is 19. World War War's going on. So it's 19, right? It's like 1919. In the year 3535. Then help me find the culprit. I may, if you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood, blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Hot? Ah, oh, man. I'm not sure about you. But he seems to know more than I do. And he's a doctor. He's wearing a fancy suit and glasses. Always trust people in glasses, right? That, that's what she taught me. No, that's not what she taught me. Uh, what did you teach me? Sunker punch people, that's that, yeah. No, wait, you taught me stitches, snitches get stitches. And then my dyslexia ruins it because it could have sounded cool, but, you know, I'm lame. <laughs> my dad's like, that's not at all what I taught you. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, yes. A shadow, indeed. Gambling. I don't know, I don't go to London at all. You're supposed to be my foremost expert, Chan. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. Um. I will find the monster. He is mine. Ooh. No, it's you do any better than mine. But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Uh... I'll demand answers. I will write him a strongly worded letter and then call my lawyer. Now, um, I guess end him? 
Well, I can't help you on that. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. I mean, he's murdering a lot of people. I guess I end him. him. Hmm. And I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. I feel like I picked the wrong answer. Damn it. What if there was a purpose to all the murders that were happening and I wasn't aware of it? And then I just fleshed it up by saying that. I didn't deserve this. Who is talking? If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Oh, if I eat Tom Watts, I get a lot of XP. No, I didn't. All right, Dad. Um, yeah, no, I didn't want to go trying to loot something from his room and then, like, him get mad at me. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to loot. I don't know if it's, like, looting system and then he fucking gets mad at me and goes, arrest him, he stole something. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm a vampire. What can he do? Doesn't seem to care. Okay, so I can loot. <gasps> if I kill him, oh, that's a lot of... Oh, I can't kill him, though. He knows too much. Track the killer, interrogate the locals. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, did anyone enter the bar? What is going on around here? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl. See? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one, no one has, has come, come in, in the last, last few hours. hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I don't know, I'm American. Is it a free country over there as well? I don't know how your systems work. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new. That was a joke. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. What the fuck is a sewer dog? That's what I want to know. Who is the sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient Bogey. answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? Miracle! Fuck yeah! No, I'm kidding. Um, I'll leave you to your bottle then. Hey, but you guys have free health care. That's like <laughs> right on. Welcome back. Did Hi. You find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Uh, I think you're hiding something. Ooh, that's like... Hint required. Goodbye, okay, we're, we're not gonna say anything yet. We're gonna investigate more. I'm gonna talk to this beesh back here. She kind of sounds like the lady who's talking upstairs, hey, though. Can I help you? I have a well, maybe few not. questions for you. Well, if you must. Can I sleep? No, that's that's not right. That's not the question. <laughs> what is going on? What is this place? I just want to talk. Oh, I want the truth. Burr, 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 burr. That's a very aggressive thing to start with, but you know what? I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight, and I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can no. feel your fear, madam. 
Please tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he. Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you, Why are so, you so afraid? afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Oh, no. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why well, keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Citizen hints. You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. How intriguing. Oh, fuck yeah, beach. Okay. Citizen details a vampire. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. Okay. Blood quality. A uh, bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlock hints, increase the amount of XP. <gasps> okay, so now I really want. Oh, there's more hints, though. Okay. So I just unlocked. Tom and Will Bishop used to be good friends. Okay. Social circle. This is one lady. Yeah. Fatigue. Oh. Cure with fatigue. Ah, so, oh, bitch! There's another Sabrina. Sabrina Cavendish. And Tom Watts. Her name was Sabrina. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. Um, alright, so let me talk to Tom. Tom, you asshole. You again. What yeah. can I do for you? Uh, the truth. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight. But he's not my friend anymore. Oh boy. Why lie to Why me? Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer and that's the truth. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, I see how you're gonna be, Tom. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Okay, that's... Is he dangerous? How was he tonight? How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. Can barely stand up most of the time. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Roger that. Inspect the boats. Is this the way to the boats? I will get to the. What is this? 
Britons working together, skilled workers in engineering and was it kindred trades? What the fuck? Enroll today as a war munitions volu volunteers. Support the men at the front with a plentiful supply of munitions. You will not suffer in wages. Get into the factory line and feed the fire line. Oh, that's actually kind of clever. Bottom of this intrigue. What's being done to me? Oh, to look at city. that. That's actually a really nice truck. Oh, bitch. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna be like World War One. Join the Royal Fleet today. Would you like to know more? Ask your nearest recruiting officer. Dun 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 dun. dun. Inspect the boat. Follow the bad smelling bloody person. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Um, how about this we... This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Right? Examine this wounds. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. The guy's wearing gauntlets! What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that large. My character's very intuitive. Resistance. You think that was quiet? I think that might have been a little quiet. Just a little bit. Whoa, ranged weapons. Equipped and press triangle to use your ranged weapons and inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Awesome. Munition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. We have a real kink for, uh, fighting. Um, not... Enemy card. Oh, no! Press to spot enemies around. Display their enemy cards. Okay, that's what I've been doing, but... <sighs> Resistance. Somebody... <laughs> Some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of resistance. Physical, powers, uh, he's more resistant to melee. High resistance, pin resistance, uh, blood. Okay, so I should send them and like get a straw ready. Got it. All the more reason to shut it, Mr. Billy. If the man says a blood suck is dug in here, you've got one job, and that's to find it. And find it fast. Yeah. spotted. Watch out, boys. Wow. 
<laughs> I should probably not be laughing at the fact that I'm murdering people. But you know what? Am I gonna be able to buy anything at some point? Cause I'm like stealing a lot of pence over here. Go back home, the lead, boys. Where are you going? Ooh. Oh, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, no. Yeah, this happens when you kill people. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be your bad. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, laughing when you're murdering people. That's why fucking... <laughs> um... Crystal doesn't play Friday the 13th with me. Because when I'm killer, I just laugh maniacally and chase her <laughs> the map. The one time I did it, she did not appreciate that. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh. Ooh, I can go up there. Whee! Um. Um, not that I should probably complain, but these guys really suck at giving me, uh, XP when I'm, I'm decaying their ass. <laughs> I want to be over there. Wow, there's something there. Who is this person? Um, details. What are the? What? Okay, I haven't even like looked at this. Um, oh fuck, I have firearms and I'm not using them. What's this one? Oh, yeah, let's use that. That seems... Not, wait, no. Back. Do, 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 do. How do I... I don't, I'm not sure how to do that right at the second, but... Wait, you miss! Oh no! Oh, god damn it. I blame my father for my poor eyesight. <laughs> Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under the rays of the daylight, but it burns them good, real good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackens in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flails. Oh man, I was doing so fucking good. Its eyes and flesh melted and I saw its unholy bones. Whoa, that's dark. Alright, unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon it i cut its head off to finally destroy it and when i tried the same test with fire the bloody leech never came back from the ashes fire is our weapon of choice brothers to burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good from know your enemy by carl eldritch El eldritch 
Prowin leader. What's with the accent? It was a good one! Did it not sound interesting while I read it? Or do you want me to go, These leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames. Listen, ladies, or ashes when they are caught under the rays of the daylight. Do you want me to read it like that? I mean... <laughs> I got another one. Oh, fucking hell, this is like... PowerPoint presentation over here. <coughs> new practices, new tactics. Do you want me to just read it normally, Chan? There's a 15 second delay, so I have to wait. To see what you're gonna say. You're a fanny. I know I'm a fanny, but like... Accent or no? Come on. This is like three paragraphs. Do 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 Chan You know what? I'm just gonna do what I want. I wanna do an accent, so Well, this is a different thing and it's written by a new it's written by someone else. This is Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Jeffrey McCollum. 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 I think Jeffrey McCollum has like a... I think he's Irish. So we're gonna try and do an Irish accent. Well. <laughs> I know that some... No, I'm just go Scottish. I know that some of our I know that some of our companions consider that the best advantage. Nah, I'm just, fuck it. I'm gonna go with whatever accent happens. Whatever the best advantage we have in our fight against leeches. Against leeches? <laughs> Is that like they can't go out? They can't go out during the day. Thus, we can hunt them down when they hide, powerless in their sl. Oh fucking hell. Power. <laughs> I can't do a Scottish accent. Powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie's mistake. First, because vampires are clever and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider their most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they really are vulnerable, when they hunt at night. It is much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the guard of Prywin 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 Plinly must evolve and develop new tactics to to excuse the <clears throat> Crying out loud. And deploy new tactics on leeches. Small and mobile patrols. Tactics based on technolo technological advances. Modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategy, new equipment, and new weaponry. Grenades, while... Well, Phosphorus. Is that white? Is that a T? Uh, yeah, white phosphorus. Grenades, white phosphorus. Ultraviolet light. Bulletproof vests and flame flower. Fl fl fuck! Flame thrower. It is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century. From a new war by Jeffrey McCullum for the leader. Fucking hell. I will be happy if we don't get another one of those for a hot minute. Interrogate, follow the blood trail from the pier. Roger that. Murder. Keep out. 
Hideout unlocked. Awesome sauce. Uh, oi, for crying. It's a crying shame. How much heartburn I have right now. Huh. Sorry, I was enjoying that. Anywho. I got five shillings, Beach! I'm rich! Boo! That's trash. Can I clean the trash? Nah. I should probably spend what I got. What I got, I got, I got, I got. Um. Boop -a -doop. Blood barrier. Woo! Recovery, 30 seconds. Mm. That's probably a good thing to have. I don't have enough. How much is this one? Oh, yeah, I don't have enough. How much is this? I can get. I can get. Oh! Alright. Fast regeneration. Fuel. So can I just. Okay, I have to be the person. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, yes. Yeah. I don't wanna. What was that? It sounded like someone was coming in here. One second, I have to fix my headset. Okay, so the blood comes up here. This person literally was just running all over the fucking place with blood. They were just like, let me smear some over here. Maybe a little over here. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. Oh, the they eat the so bones? Strong, it makes me dizzy. Can I drink another vampire's blood? These are the questions I have. Oh, fuck me! I'm about to cut a vampire's head up! No. <laughs> um, but there's another vampire in there. It's a fucking bloodbath in here, bro. What are you even doing? You need to chill the shit out. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna equip my oh, weapon. Oh, it's already equipped. Equip. Alright, cool. So I'm just gonna follow the blood. This place reeks of bloodshed. What have you been doing? This creature is bedeviled. I can't stand it I must anymore. Put it down. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Stick him in the heart! Stop! Ah! Whoa! Ow! Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Smash! Sally Lamont! Sally Lamont! Punch him in the nose! Poke him in the eye! Ow, my biscuits! Oh, 
Holy moly! Who had heart palpitations during that fight? Chan, I did it! Woohoo! William, please stop. Oh no. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. No, you Mr. Couldn't. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must <gasps> return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Ah! <laughs> Squeal like a beach. Oh, hi. Certain scales are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? Oh, yeah, I thought we were. We are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman, the woman from, the, from bar. the bar. Yeah. Are you like me? Like me. Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. No, I mean, like, help me more than poofing out of existence. Thank you very much for your assistance. Is he dead? No. He By wouldn't George care. and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Yeah, gather a blood sample. Oh. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Yeah. I mean... At dawn we row. Well, you know. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Or in our case, row, row, row your boat fast down the Thames. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who, Who is she? she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. <laughs> you used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Privacy. Oh! Well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are oh! Curious, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of... Poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. 
I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to Ow. the study. There's so much for you well, to learn. Well, yeah. You are right. That's only what I've been asking people. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital as a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. predicament. That's a good way to put this it. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... Affliction? affliction. <laughs> Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Oh, so, I'm totally. If it gives me the option, I'm going to say yes. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I mean, he already knows what we are. So we have to. So I think we're heading into chapter two. Um. What's up with this music, though? Doctor Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Could she use a hand? Like, she's struggling with this patient. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Uh, she's Your touching his is face. Required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Your sound stage is kind of echoey. Sorry, I'm nitpicking at this point. Take me to the hospital. It's okay, Jonathan. I'll see you later. Are you sure? Okay. District is healthy. Woo! Well, that's good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is going on? Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the spirit of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. The guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. 
I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Uh, your blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. Yeah. The higher the quality, the more XP you get. Got it. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to measure them to lead them out of sight from the other- Wait, do I have to kill him? I mean, he probably will die from his injuries. Cause you seem to got stabbed a couple times in the stomach. His shot's all torn up. Uh, press to... Not a shadowy place. What red trail? What? There's a red trail. Oh. gonna let him die there then? You know what? It ain't my problem. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Ah, uh, damn. So, maybe I should have, uh, eaten him. What? Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. That was quick. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Second floor, left, last door. Got it. Let's go check out my office. Is there a ladder? Oh, I thought there was a ladder. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. This 
is the second floor. Second floor. That's his office. It said left. Did I go right? No, I went left. Right? Hold on. I'm dyslexic! I'm dyslexicking all over the place! So this is the right. The last vacancy. Is this not the right room? Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Ooh, Relegated I'm to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. Ooh. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Glass file. Oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> Article on Econ Econs. You can hear her in your hmm. <clears throat> It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege <laughs> to approach a vampire, to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Why is it when I start to talk I got a burp? Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years. While interviewing a few vampires, or Econ as they prefer to call themselves. Fucking hell. Supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions... Alarm, surprise, necessity, necessity to flee. I have seen a vampire move so quickly, it is almost as if he had vanished just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly. What? I am reading, Chan! Kidding. But, <clears throat> if he had wait, reappeared uh, quickly, but it is not a teleport or... Dematerialization. Are you gonna go to your bed? Alright. You have a good night, Chan. I'm just gonna continue reading to myself. While well, about a foot away from the TV. My dad would be very upset with me. <laughs> um... The human eye cannot follow their movements when Thank you, Chan. Uh, it is only a super it is only good night. Uh, oi. It is only a supernatural speed. For me, it is a cat like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also noticed that such speeds Ah no, I'm fine. Don't get square eyed. I don't think that's what it's called. I thought it was cross eyed. What's square eyed? I don't. Am I gonna have like actual square? I mean, I wear rectangle glasses, so that's kind of like. You know. Ah! Parallelogram! Anyways, and they are bound to physical limitations. Uh, Memorize out. <laughs> Fuck, I'm speaking in tongues. Mesmerize. One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this a trait mesmerize, as it has nothing to do with. We say square eye. As well as X eyed. We just call it cross eyed, but y'all wanna get all fancy with shit. Calling it different things. Uh, 
I leaned back and I couldn't read. <laughs> I need glasses. I sh where am I? But it has nothing to do with the moral ability to alter a subject's mental state. <laughs> a vampire can bend a moral to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be. As if the vampire could literally fracture their target's psych psyche. Chan, I love you, but I ain't doing a 20 minute goodbye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, Chan. A vampire interview told me, uh, can I fracture their target psyche? The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master and that the results could vary wide, could vary widely from one subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one, the possibility, possib the possibilities are endless. I'm not a 20, it's not, Chan, we both know you can, we've done it. You, you, it happened. If Jasmine was in stream, she'd be like, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, where was I? The same. Widely subject. Full of pain one. The possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood awareness. This may be the most catastrophic ability of all concerning vampires, since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to res restrain themselves from frenzied friends <clears throat> friends frenziedly drinking every drop of blood. Fuck. Drink, uh, every drop of blood they can see. They, yeah, I know. Blame Jasmine and May. Oh, and I'm deaf away now. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Chip. Okay, I'll blame them. Hold on. Make sure you mute your phone. I'm about to type in chat. I'm gonna type. Don't you worry, Chin. Don't worry. Uh, frenziedly drinking every drop they can see. Uh, they need blood to function and to express their full supernatural their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak, and even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst, this urge, this need for blood, may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire conf confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong. While he focuses, a vampire can always see blood all, all around them, inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill, and that it some in some cases he can... S even see diseases, infected clothes, or even items in a room. If it is true, it could be so many medical applications. It's almost, it's almost beggar's belief. Okay. Alright, let me down, my boy. Alright, so just gonna move. What the? the flower's dying. It needs, water. it needs water. Where do I get water from? Do we have a sink? Am I asking for too much? Um. Uh, 
Do I just... A bishop's blood. Sure! Can I water my plant? Didn't I already do that? Or did I get one from over here or something? I don't think I have... Can I water my plant? Is it weird that I want to water my plant? Analyze! Uh, you have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Cool. Um, use bludgeon. more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation but this is not what happened to me I must keep on searching the Sun is about to rise I can feel it I'll continue tomorrow night I have so much time now. we do have a lot of time on our hands there buddy hmm Kinda reminds me of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> and then it's m nighttime. <laughs> Not morning. Nighttime. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. What about my thirst for blood? Sorry, I just like to click the button. Uh, white coat. Can I change my appearance? Okay, I only have three of those. Um, I need to drink blood. Well, hold on. Can I change my outfit? Oh, jeez. People write goddamn books in this video game. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the... Oh, my God. Uh, 
uh, the Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the right. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here on your own pace. You'll notice there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter and exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Oh my god, she's so impatient. I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must know now be facing and feeling be assured. Oh my god, Beesh! I hope your future, our future collaboration will yield good results, blah 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 P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I have discovered about- Okay, yeah, I've read all that. What do you want, woman? Cry yes, out loud! Queen, how can I help you? I'm so sorry, I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drug shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Well... She screamed at me for 10 minutes to tell me we're out of antiseptic. So now I'm gonna go mix up some shit. Logical! At the back of the hospital. Alright. I really like this game. Really digging it. Uh, let's see. Find the back of the hospital. Um, I'll talk with people later. Let me just get this antiseptic shit sorted. So this is the main hospital. Um, Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Opium! Okay. Okay, so 
this more it's locked we have the bloody key the alley hospital please go is this the morgue oh bitch we just went all the way around for nothing this is still the main hospital So we're just still at the side of the hospital. This is this is the back of the hospital. I can only assume. It's locked, all right. Well, I'd say it would be locked. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Check my map. Where the Fletcher? Enter. Okay, I just have to go that way. Photograph of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Well oh. So the ones that don't turn into actual vampires can it turn into like seem to be almost like zombie vampires. Kinda of fucky. I probably went like around the building six times before I got where I needed to go. If you're not strong enough, remember that the blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. <sighs> yeah, but. I might do it only a couple times. I didn't like that. Hold on a moment.
Fuck. You've been defeated. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. Burning the beast is the best way to destroy it. Oh, I read that already. Can I throw fire? Can I Molotov a bitch? Because that would be nice. Old morgue. Alright. We're round twenty. I'm gonna check all of downstairs before I I move on. Gotta get them shillings, bruv. as they are ineffective but they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful another one. I just don't want to find it. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Oh, uh, surely will. But do I surely want to go there? I did not enjoy that. I think there's something big down here. Okay, so there's three of them down here. Just gonna
These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Need a second, uh, oh gosh, there's another one. It's locked. Use. Okay, it's directly absorb. Required any type of offhand weapon equipped to use directly absorb blood. What? You want me to do? Um, blood ups. Mm. Local investigation, a new citizen investigation is available. Okay. Oh no. Alright. Officer of Pembroke Hospital, the medical examiner. Blah blah blah. Fisherman. Sting pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary. Influenza. Uh, Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. Uh, I'd better look into this. Uh, it's locked, all right. Oh, 
Oh, this is very unfair. I had a feeling it was some kind of big dude waiting for me. Shit. Oh man, I gotta start over again. go this way? Oh, there's nothing that way. I think there's a crafting bench in here. I just don't want to do that again. I was hoping I could save. <sighs> Let me get my ass kicked again.
block. Man, I think I need to come back and do the morgue one. Suffering is part of immortal condition. Part of the immortal condition. The pain will never stop. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go to sleep.
I'm gonna have to come back. Because I keep dying. I wonder who made this game. What developer made this game? Okay. I need to go hunting though. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they... Bodies will arrive and then on Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Ackroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. 
What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Me like a book. Hi, Big Z Nine. I'm doing all right. How are you? Yes, Doctor? That's all for now, Nurse Crane. Thank you. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening, Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How is the Pembroke staff? coping with the epidemic. Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter. But I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. 
How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Well, I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? That would truly suck. I don't want to tell her to get a grip, because she's rightfully allowed to be... afraid. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Mm-hmm. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Nurse Howard? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. As she's talking about being a vampire to the vampire who's like, Beach, you're not a vampire. <laughs> I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss it's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. That would be the skulls or skull the or the- staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Can I help? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. 
I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Oh, damn. My arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. And it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Don't blame him on that. Uh, life in London, no. Goodbye for now, Mr. L. So who are you? Good evening, Mr. Hampton. Oh. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. 
Wet Boot Boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance Clay of her Cox. minion, Booth Digby. That name sounds very familiar. Clay Cox. Clay Has Cox. The gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long. You know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Okay, so it seemed like conversation really does a lot. It's here again. Hmm. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Well, it's good to know. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. Even though he disguises it. 
But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Mm. I'll leave you, Mistress ah. of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Time has lost its effect on me, but the suffering continues. Yes, Doctor? Exactly how bad is the supply situation here at Pembroke? It really depends. Dr. Swansea deftly works his society contacts for monies, but with the quarantine, well, we're in God's hands. That's all for now, Nurse Crane. Thank you. Okay. Um. I need to upgrade my shit. I need to upgrade my stamina. I think I'm gonna end the stream. It's been about four hours. I'm hungry. Maybe I'll play more of this game. Um, it was great. Oh boy, man, I'm tired. If anyone's watching this later on, y'all have a wonderful fucking day. You're amazing. Like and subscribe. 
go ahead and hit that bell button at the bottom.